Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about the main 2D frame by frame softwares that are used in the animation industry as well as other softwares that have a lower price point or are free to use. I'll leave links to each in the description so I hope you'll find this video useful. Be sure to subscribe to see more tutorials and stuff from me and leave any questions down in the comments below. So my first three are Toon Boom Harmony, Animate CC and TV Paint. So these are professional softwares with a lot of features and are most commonly used in the animation industry to make rigged puppets and frame by frame animations. They're also the most expensive ones in the list, so if you're looking to be a 2D animator professionally, these are the ones that I've seen the most job listings for, but feel free to do your own research as well. If you want to work at a certain studio, you can check their website for any job openings and usually they'll have what software the job requires on their post. If you're just doing animation as a hobby but still want these softwares, just keep in mind that they're a bit more expensive than the ones I talk about later. So first off we have Toon Boom Harmony which has been used to make shows like Bob's Burgers, Star vs The Forces of Evil and Rick and Morty. Harmony has a couple of packages to choose from and this software is capable of both building rigs as well as animating frame by frame with a good variety of brushes. You can buy the software outright or rent it. If you want to buy the version with the most features, it's currently $1,975. Their mid-range is $975 and their basic package is $375. Though you can't buy the software on education pricing, you can rent their software at a discounted price if you're a student or teacher for a reasonable $6, $9 or $17 a month. If you're not a student or teacher, the prices are quite a bit higher. Next up is Flash, or as it's now called, Animate CC. It's been used on shows like The Amazing World of Gumball and online series The Super Science Friends. Though the type of brushes you have in Animate is limited, they're easy to use and the software is well suited to puppets and swapping in and out assets to animate with. This is part of Adobe's collection of programs and since updating to the Creative Cloud they don't have an option to buy the software outright anymore, which means you'll have to rent it. So if you want just one app, it's £20 a month, and for the whole suite, it's £50 a month. Like Toon Boom, Adobe also have discounts for students and teachers, and usually they'll have a sale on Black Friday if you can wait around for those deals. Thirdly, we have TV Paint, which has been used to make feature films like Ethel and Ernest, The Breadwinner, and shorts like The Dam Keeper and The Reward. This software was made to be the digital equivalent for hand-drawn animation and it works really well. At €1200, Euros, roughly £1100, the professional version is not cheap. The professional version has quite a few extra features over the standard which is €500, Euros, roughly £400. Though you can't rent the software, you can buy it at a hefty discount if you are a student or teacher. Next up, I chose Moho, Clip Studio Paint and Photoshop. Moho, formerly Anime Studio Pro, is a vector-based program which has some cool features and rigging abilities. It's pretty affordable with a debut package of $69.99 and the Pro package at $399.99. Though I haven't tried it myself, it does look pretty good and it seems to have features similar to Toon Boom without the hefty price tag. Next up is Clip Studio Paint. This program was initially just for manga and illustration, however, they have recently developed the software to include animation. There's a range of pricing for the Pro and X packages, though if you want the full animation features you'll need to purchase the X version at £168 or $219. I've seen a lot of people that really like the animation features and prefer the pricing of this one to something more expensive like Toon Boom or TV Paint. Clip Studio Paint is also available on iPad through subscription. I've also known them to do a Black Friday deal too, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested. Now, Photoshop, which is another one of Adobe's programs, was not made for animation, but has a basic timeline to animate with. There are various plugins available online to improve the animation features, but these are sold separately from the price of renting the software, and a lot of it is down to personal preference. I've tried animating in Photoshop a couple of times because I love the brushes I had there, but it wasn't as intuitive and easy to work with as other programs I'd used. Now this is the bit everyone's probably been waiting for. So first up we have Open Tunes. I haven't used this one myself and I've heard there's a steep learning curve, but that doesn't mean you can't make cool stuff with it. Mary and the Witch's Flower was actually made with Open Tunes and it looks incredible. So if you're willing to invest the time and trying it out and watching tutorials, then you can definitely give it a go. 
Next up is Blender, which is slightly different to all the other programs I've recommended so far because it was originally just for 3D animation, but they've recently released a short called Hero, which was made in Blender with their grease pencil. It's a mix of 2D and 3D and looks absolutely amazing. Grease Pencil is relatively new so it may have bugs and you might be better off waiting for it to update a few times first, but if you're interested in combining the two it's a definite contender with a lot of potential. For much simpler 2D animation, particularly if you're just starting out, I'd recommend Sketchbook. It's free if you sign up to Autodesk and it's really easy to get started with. I actually used Sketchbook before they added the animation features and I was really impressed with the drawing tools. Though you can only use two layers to animate on as the other two are a background layer and a canvas colour, if you're just starting out it's perfect for practising and exporting is so quick and easy. Now if you want something a little bit more advanced than Sketchbook there's Critter. There's a good range of brushes, it has a feel similar to Photoshop and the animation timeline has a lot more functions than you'd expect for a free software. However, as Critter is an open source program and relies on donations to fund improvements and fixes to the software, new versions may be a little buggy until they can be updated. If you want to export it as a GIF or video rather than a PNG sequence, you have to download FFmpeg as without it Critter can't render your file. I'll also be making some tutorials on how to animate in Sketchbook and Critter, so be sure to keep an eye out for those on my channel. There are a few more animation programs out there that I didn't include, but hopefully I've got something for everyone in this list. Let me know what you think down in the comments and give this video a like if you found it useful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back with another video real soon. Bye!